Hey, I'm Brad. This is DIY Wouldn't You. I'm sitting in my attic room. Why am I sitting in my attic room? Well, I figured I'd enjoy it before it gets filled up with stuff. Well, that sure didn't take long. I'm going to walk you through this process of how I did this room. It was a really cheap, really quick, easy way to do this, and it's great usable space. The wall finishing that I used is quarter inch Luon, and the insulation that I used behind that is block foam in some areas and roll insulation in others. Looking at how much insulated storage space there is in our house, it makes a lot of sense for us to insulate this and close it in. It's only about six feet wide this way, and it'll be about eight feet deep this way. It's already insulated on the back of a closet. There's a small door right here to get from the closet into this attic. We can go ahead and put a couple pieces of wood up that we know we're gonna need. We're gonna add a two by four along the top of this to catch this piece of luon. Use this roll of insulation where the wall is studded up. And then we're gonna use this block foam in between these rafters since they're wider. But since that's fairly straightforward, we can go ahead and cut this roll insulation and just throw it right up. do my last piece up against the wall here yet because I've got to push this insulation back and add some wood over there like we did up top. Before we start framing out the rest of this, this ductwork here is going to have to move because we're actually going to build a wall right here. We're going to unhook where this ductwork is attached to this splitter box and reroute it from this side of this 2x12 to this side of the 2x12 so that we can set up a wall here, put a door in so that you can access the attic from this area and we can seal the rest of that space off. So now we're going to use the straps that we took off and relocate them to where the ductwork is hanging off the floor again. One of my best friends runs an air conditioning company and I know enough that when you're routing ductwork like this, you want to make sure that you have plenty of slack wherever there's a bend in your hose as not to flatten it out and make it to where the airflow is not sufficient and that you don't have your straps too tight. Okay, pretty impressed with us. I am too. It's a difficulty level on this project. If you don't know how to use a drill, you might want to avoid it. Or oh, maybe it's time for you to learn how to use a drill. Now we figured out what size door opening we're going to put here just to access the other side of the attic once this is finished. We're going to come off of the wall at 12 inches and then make our door rough opening 20 inches. And we're going to stud the wall up on the back side of this 2x12. That way when our Luon comes across, it still has the surface of that 2 by 12 to attach to. Oh, son of a gun. The other day, I was using my flashlight on my cell phone, right? Uh -huh. Looking for my cell phone. <laughs> I cut some two by fours. I'm gonna close out the bottom of the joist wall. Well, that makes me highly upset. I just spilled my coffee. There's a stud in the wall here underneath where this rafter is. And so we've cut this board at an angle the same as this rafter. And we're going to actually push the insulation back. So 
nice thing about how we're doing this door opening is we're just going to push this board up into this corner here, put a screw through it into this board, and then we can level it on this side and not have to worry about trying to hold it in place and level it and then screw it. We can take our level app. Green says level to me. I'm super excited to have it this far along. I've got more framing to do, but I'm gonna go ahead and insulate this because this is really cool. I'm gonna take this out and shift it up, and I'm gonna add another one about two feet up from the bottom in case I decide to make this panel hinged when it swings down, it'll have enough room to not hit the floor. So if we measure up from the bottom two feet, and if we know that the width of our door is gonna be about 20 inches, then we can figure we have plenty of clearance. make this opening right at 36 inches tall that way if somebody needs to get back in here it's not gonna be too tight and I add some 2x4s as steps maybe behind this 2x4 to get into that side insulate this. I'm going to run a couple strips of Gorilla Tape across to hold this in place. Because these joists are spaced on 24 inch centers, 15 inch roll of insulation isn't quite wide enough. So, I made two rolls the same length and I cut this one in half long ways like this. And I'll take the paper flange and tape it to this other piece and it'll make it wide enough to run the whip. These days I dream of oxygen and gravity for the chance to get out of the darkness that surrounds me with a cloud of dust in my lungs every breath could be the last one. I am still going to take a piece of the block foam and put it on the underside of this roll insulation before we put our lure on up just to give it that extra thickness. I'm just adding some 2x4s so that when you step through the pass through here from the area that we're closing off into this unfinished part of the attic there's just a couple steps here to make it a little bit easier. Look at that crap. Where only the stars can see me now. When the hope you fail stops fading. There we go. Now we just gotta cover the walls in Luan, make our doors, and we're done. Ooh, this is when it really comes together. Got the first piece of Luan cut. Now there's no real reason that I'm starting with this piece other than the fact that I already had a piece that was cut with this angle, so this was an easy piece to cut. With a billion miles us now, I feel like All I'm doing there is just marking where I know the next stud's gonna be. Circles leaving footprints on the moon. I take the
I took some measurements on the door opening and I thought with how pliable the quarter inch Luon was I'd be able to flex a, a four foot wide sheet and get it through the door here and then I could just bend it so it didn't hit the insulation. However, that was not the case. So I had to cut it down to a two foot wide strip which is what the studs are in the wall right here. I didn't film much of what I just did because I had to take the light fixture down so that we can get the piece of wood where the light fixture goes. Behind me is the closet with all the stuff that has to go in this attic. So the only pieces of wood that I have left are the piece directly above me and the piece right here beside me. And I got ahead of myself a little bit and so I'm going to have to piece in just a little tiny piece on this side which I'm not too happy about. It was either that or buy another full 4x8 sheet of this stuff and I don't really want to do that. So. That's better. That actually turned out really good right there. What I'm going to do about this last piece here, like I was saying, since I measured and this piece is going to come up a little bit short, is take this strip of 1x2 here. I scoot my insulation up just enough for the thickness of that 1x2 and I'll just cut little strips, pre-drill them through and that'll be what the sheet attaches to and that should work fine. I'm going to wiggle through and trace that hole on the other side. I take you with me, but you won't be able to see anything, so... I've got this access panel framed out and I'm getting ready to do the door opening. Now what I did was added up the thickness of the frame that I'm going to be using and then this sheet since I'm going to build the door out of this sheet with 1x4. And I inset this frame in the opening, the thickness here to here of that door. And since we're going to be adding a piece of carpet to this room, it's going to bring the floor height up just a little bit. Uh, I cut another piece to go on top of this piece on the floor. That way, the door can seal against the face of this. If I tried to seal against the face of this, we'd be scrubbing the carpet. I've got the door made here for this attic access. Basically what I did was cut down some 1x4s, the length that I needed, and then pieced between the width that I needed. Put two screws here to hold this board to these boards. Then I just used 3 quarter inch long number 6 screws. The measurements that I used to make this door were my opening minus an eighth of an inch all the way around and I measured the thickness of my hinge to make sure that that was going to work right. The next one I did was held my door up where the gap needed to be across the top and put a mark at the top and the bottom of each hinge and right here I can see the top hinge is exactly where I thought it was supposed to be. I take one of these hinges off, put it on here and mark where my holes need to be and then put it back on the door, put the door in place and screw it in and everything should line up where it's supposed to be. Somehow that actually wasn't bad at all. This is just a little slide latch. I just wanted something easy. It's, you know, it's in the attic. It doesn't have to be pretty. On the moon Whether you just turn into light years Yeah, on the moon There's nothing left for me up here On the moon Whether you just turn into light years yeah. And there it was. Not only did my drill die, but then my camera died also. So I guess let's move on. right here I've only got one slide latch on being that it's vertical. This door being that it's on an angle I think I'm gonna use two slide latches and I'm gonna do them right where I have these screws here. So this door's done other than putting a seal around it, insulating the back of it, insulating the back of this door. Hope you fail, 
This has been fun. This is going to be great storage space, and uh, I can't wait to utilize it. It was fairly inexpensive in all. I think I spent about $150. I ended up using about six sheets of Luon in this whole area here at $90. The rug that I'm using is called Eco Rug, and it's made for RVs, uh, outdoor patios, pool areas. It's just really thin, keeps you from putting stuff down on the particle board. And that was $23, and I've got some money wrapped up in screws, hardware, in these doors. My insulation was free, so that's a big perk. If you had to buy insulation for an area about this big, uh, you could go ahead and add about $100. So you'd be looking at about $250 to do this project. I appreciate you guys checking out the video. I hope that this was helpful. If it is, give it a thumbs up. Maybe subscribe to the channel. We've got some more projects coming up. I'm Brad. This has been DIY Wouldn't You. Thanks for watching. See you next time. This attic closet storage room. It's called an ego. 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 There's really nothing exciting about this place. Sure, I'm not bleeding. It's just gauche. Sitting on a stack of wood, drinking a cup of coffee. This makes me look tougher.